Following a fall on the ice, Miss Roberts goes to the emergency room where, after certain tests, she is diagnosed with a hip fracture. After preoperative preparation, the patient leaves for the operating room. Back in the room after a total hip replacement surgery, the patient refuses to move and develops leg pain after a few days, similar to deep vein thrombosis. As time goes by, the patient's condition gets worse. A cardiorespiratory arrest occurred and the staff on the site tries to resuscitate her. Before making contact with the patient, the nurse verifies the patient's specifics in the nursing care plan in order to structure her priorities of care and her shift. It is necessary at the beginning of the shift to introduce oneself to the patient. The nurse identifies herself and her function and checks for allergies. She double checks ID to avoid errors. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. My name is Julie. I'll be the nurse with you today. Okay. Hi. Can you give me your full name and uh, date of birth, please? My name is Isabel Roberts, and I was born uh, August 9th, 1944. Perfect. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No, no allergies. Are you in pain right now? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling okay, but I, I have some pain here in my right calf. Okay. Yeah. When pain or a new symptom appears, it is the nurse's responsibility to be attentive and to assess it. In this case, the nurse uses the PQRSTU tool to determine the nature of the pain and to better plan her care and interventions with respect to the situation. Is there anything that increases or decreases your pain? Mm, no, not, nothing that I've noticed. Okay, and how would you describe your pain? Well, it's it's like it's throbbing, like pulsing, you know, like like a beat. Yeah, a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like a that. Heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and does the pain radiate elsewhere? Mm, no, I, no, no. Okay, and on the pain from zero to ten. Zero is no pain at all, and 10 is being the worst pain ever. How much would you put it at? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'd say maybe a four. A four out of 10? Yeah, yeah, okay. maybe, yeah. And did it come gradually, or, or was it a sudden pain that appeared? It came on suddenly, but it's been increasing since the start. It's been since increasing since. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and do you know what it could be? No, I've never felt this kind of pain before. I mean, you know, this morning I wouldn't get out of my bed because of the discomfort. That bad? Yeah, I couldn't get up. Okay, so we'll take your vital signs yeah. and then we'll have a look at it. Is that okay with you? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, thanks. Advising of the next steps to come allows for better patient collaboration. So your vital signs are within normal. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. yeah. Your yeah, your vital signs are good. Okay. Do you give me permission to look at your legs? Oh yeah. Go okay. ahead. Yeah. Sure.
Info? Not that one, this one. Yeah. Okay. It's right there. Oh. Yes. So I can notice that your right leg, okay, yeah. is warmer and a little redder than the, than the other one. Okay. okay. Is that normal? We're just going to do a quick exam. Okay. okay? Yeah. And we'll just see if the pain is worse while I do the exam. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect. Following the patient's complaint about pain, a physical examination of the lower limbs follows. The physical examination reveals that the right calf is warmer to the touch and has redness compared to the left calf. Based on the results of the assessment, the nurse decides to perform certain specific tests, including Homan's sign. Homan's sign is used to identify deep vein thrombophlebitis. The result of the test will be sent to the physician. Measurement of the calf circumference may be indicated. Okay. So I'm just going to do a, a small test. Okay. And I want you to tell me if it's more painful. Okay. When we do the test, okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to lift here a bit. Put my hand under your foot. Okay. Is this painful? Yeah. It's, it's worse? a little bit worse, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Okay. She also reviews the laboratory results in the patient's chart to identify any abnormalities, which she will forward to the attending physician as needed. So you have your bell right here. Yeah. Okay. okay. If there's a problem, yeah. just just push the button, and we'll be able to help you. It makes okay. a change in your symptoms, also. Okay. Okay. You're yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. As the patient's condition has deteriorated over the last 24 hours, the nurse proceeds with her assessment. Good morning, Mrs. Roberts. Oh, good morning. How are you this morning? Oh, not too good. Uh, I got a uh, pain in my chest. Yeah, and uh, I'm short of breath. Okay, and how is your, how is the pain? What does it feel like? Uh, oh, it's just like pressure in my chest. And okay. trouble breathing. And how did it come about? Is it sudden or was it gradual? It was sudden. Sudden? Yeah, but it's, it's just getting worse. Okay. Yeah. And on a scale from zero to 10, how much would you put it at? Oh, uh, an easy five. Five? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And does it radiate somewhere else? Is the pain anywhere else? No, it's just there. And... <sighs> okay. And how long has it been like this? Oh, just ten, about ten minutes. Ten just, minutes yeah, ago? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll take your vital signs. Okay. Okay. And I'll listen to your lungs after. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to listen to your lungs. I'm going to bring your head up a bit, okay? Okay. Do I have to sit? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to take deep breaths, okay? I'm going to try. 
Yes, if there's anything wrong, just let me know. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Is this okay? Yes, that's perfect. Still okay? Yeah. It's hard to breathe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can lay back. <sighs> okay. I'll have to call the doctor to let him know about your condition. Uh -huh. Okay, how you're feeling right now. Yeah. You still have your call bell. If there's anything wrong, if your situation changes, yeah. call me, okay? You can just press the button. Okay? okay. I'll be yeah. back shortly. Okay. Okay? Yeah. The lung examination reveals additional noises. In Mrs. Roberts' case, the nurse hears crackling. Hello, Dr. Smith. I'm calling you regarding Mrs. Isabel Roberts. I have observed a deterioration of her condition. Yes, so she shows a sudden onset of pain in the form of chest tightness and mild dyspnea. It started about 10 minutes ago, um, and she was resting in bed. Uh, she has tachycardia with a pulse of 110. Her saturation is at 90%, and she is on ambient air. She has tachypnea. Her breathing is regular and superficial at 28 per minute. Yesterday, thrombophlebitis was diagnostic following a Doppler of her lower limbs. I can also hear cracking sounds when I'm auscultating her. Okay, here's that prescription. Uh, O2 binasal cannula at 2 liters, morphine 2 milligrams of subcutaneous stat, and we'll also order a blood gas analysis and an x-ray of the lungs. So if I understand correctly, Dr. Smith, O2 at, uh, by nasal cannula at 2 liters per minute, 2 milligrams of morphine stat subcutaneous, a blood gas analysis, analysis and a lung x-ray? Yes, exactly. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Upon receiving the doctor's order, the nurse proceeds with the installation of a nasal cannula at 2 liters per minute. While monitoring vital signs, she administers 2 milligrams of morphine subcutaneously. I just talked with the doctor, uh -huh. so I'm just going to give you some medication for the pain, oh, okay? okay? And some oxygen, okay? Uh, oh. Oh. You said you didn't have any allergies, right? No. No, no allergies at all? No, no allergies. Okay. Oh. Still have some pain? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to help with the hard breathing. It. Hard breathing? Yeah. Okay. The oxygen will help with that too. Okay. The doctor? You gonna you talked to the doctor? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh. 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 All right. So this just goes in your nose. Yeah. Okay. And this behind. Like this? Yes, exactly. Uh, uh. And this behind it. Behind every both ears. Okay, okay. perfect. Oh. Oh. I fixed it a little bit so it fits better. It's comfortable. Okay, yeah. perfect. Oh. It 
helps? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, it still hurts, so. It still hurts? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this is cold. I'm just going to disinfect. Yeah. Oh. Is it going to hurt? It's going to pinch just a bit. It won't last long, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? I'm sorry. It's just uh, a small pinch. No. Okay. Uh, Still good? Mm. Okay. Uh, this works fast. It works fast? Yeah. <laughs> Glad yeah. it helps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so the call bell's still here if you need it. Okay. Yeah. If anything changes, just call me, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. The nurse interprets the results of the arterial blood gas analysis, which reveals uncompensated respiratory acidosis and moderate hypoxemia. Yes, yes, I understand. The situation is deteriorating despite interventions. Um, call the respiratory therapist and put the venti mask on at 50%. Perfect, thank you. While the nurse completes the orders with the patient, her colleagues are busy notifying the respiratory therapist. Despite all the interventions performed during the day, Mrs. Roberts' condition deteriorates rapidly. We're just going to put your mask, okay? So this mask is going to help you breathe a little bit, okay? A bit better than with the, the nasal cannula. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh, not good. You don't feel well? Uh. Trouble breathing, eh? Uh. Okay, so I'm just going to take your oxygen off. Okay, so this is just going to go over here behind your head. Is it comfortable like this? The nurse notices that the patient is unresponsive to stimuli. There is electrical activity, but no pulse. The code is launched, and she immediately starts resuscitation maneuvers. Mrs. Roberts? Mrs. Roberts? Code blue, room 404. Code blue, room 404. Attention, attention. Code blue in room 404. Code blue in room 404. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the event of a cardiac arrest, Code Blue is initiated to alert the resuscitation team, who immediately goes to the bedside. 
Chest compressions are being performed at a rate of 30 compressions for two breaths. Upon arrival, the physician will order one milligram intravenously stat of epinephrine. The nurse carries out the order while the resuscitation team takes over. 4, 25, 26, 27,